Psalm 133 verse 1 says, How good and pleasant it is when God's people live together in unity. I pray for your family that all the members will dwell in unity among themselves. In the name of Jesus, there will be no more divisions among your family members. In the name of Jesus, I plead the blood of Jesus over your family. The Lord will build a hedge around your family, preventing the evil ones from gaining access. In the name of Jesus, I pray that the Lord will supply all the needs of your family according to his riches in glory in Christ Jesus. The word of God says in Psalm 23 verse 1, The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. I pray for your family that the Lord will always lead you to green pastures. In the name of Jesus. Where men have spoken negatively about your family due to present circumstances, they will begin to celebrate you in the name of Jesus. Psalm 5 verse 12 says, God encompasses the righteous with favor as a shield. I pray for your family that the Lord will cause you to experience strange dimensions of favor that will amaze others and leave you in awe. In the name of Jesus, the path of your family is like a shining light, which shines brighter and brighter until the perfect day. In the name of Jesus, I cancel and nullify all the devices of the wicked against your family. The blessings of the Lord in your family will make you rich, and no sorrow will be attached to it. In the name of Jesus, I pray that your family will lay up gold like dust. In every aspect of life, your family will become a perfect model for others to emulate. In the name of Jesus, the mercy of the Lord will always speak for your family. I pray that all members of your family will discover and walk in the will and purpose of God for their lives. In the name of Jesus, the good Lord will replace the garment of sorrow with the garment of rejoicing. In Jesus' name, the devil never tires of attacking families because he knows that God's agenda will be fulfilled on earth through families. He sends agents to cause disunity, strife, disconnection, and chaos within families. However, your family is God's prized possession, and you must cooperate with God to pull down all the devices of the enemy. The word of God in your mouth is a weapon of offense and defense against the enemy and his cohorts. John 10 verse 10 says, The devil comes only to steal, kill, and destroy. You must not allow the devil to steal the good things in your family nor allow him to kill the greatness within your family. Rise and put an end to the subtle attacks of the enemy on your family. Stand firm on the finished work of Christ and do not doubt, as I declare these prayers and decrees over you, in the name of Jesus. I decree over you that the enemies who come against your family in one way will flee before you in seven ways. The arrows of the evil ones shot at your family to cause disunity will return to sender. In the name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus, no evil stranger will infiltrate your family to cause disunity and conflict. I draw a bloodline around your family, and by the power of the blood, the enemy will have no access. I decree that the Holy Spirit will always expose the subtle plans of the enemy against your family. I also decree that your family will walk in unity and peaceful coexistence. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you will know God's will for your family at all times and seasons. Isaiah 26 verse 3 says, God will keep in perfect peace those whose minds are stayed on him because they trust in him. I decree over you that your heart is fixed on God, and he will keep your family in peace. In the name of Jesus, there is no chaos or separation in your family. By the power in the name of Jesus, I bind all powers of darkness plotting disunity and conflict within your family. I pray that the angel of the Lord will watch over your family. In the name of Jesus, I plead the blood of Jesus over all members of your family, 
and I decree that no one will become a tool for the enemy to use to cause strife. The Lord will rise and fight against all enemies of your family. In the name of Jesus, by the power in the name of Jesus, I nullify the plan of the enemy to make family members hate each other. I decree that all external enemies the devil deploys to cause confusion and disunity in your family are exposed. In the name of Jesus, your family will walk in total victory over the enemy, and you will never know a better yesterday. In the name of Jesus, I break all chains the devil is using to limit your family, and I decree that you will be an agent of change and unity. In the name of Jesus, all members of your family will be used by God for his end-time agenda. I decree that the blood of Jesus will exempt your family from pestilence and danger. In the name of Jesus, your family is knitted in love, and the altar erected by the Lord will never be demolished by the enemy. The Lord desires that your family abides in its first love, and through his grace, you will keep that love strong. Remember, it is Christ who works in you to will and to do his good pleasure. Speak the word of God to your marriage and watch the creative power of the word build a wonderful union. In the name of Jesus, your marriage will stand, not by man's wisdom but by the wisdom of God. In Jesus' name, may the Lord bless your family with peace and strength. The love within your family will grow stronger, and no force will break that bond. In Jesus' name, amen. Deuteronomy 6 verses 5 to 9 says, And these words which I command you today shall be in your heart. You shall teach them diligently to your children, and shall talk of them when you sit in your house, when you walk by the way, when you lie down, and when you rise up. You shall bind them as a sign on your hand, and they shall be as frontlets between your eyes. You shall write them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates. I pray, Lord, that your word be forever kept safe in my heart. Forever may I live and abide by your word. Thank you for your protection. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for your goodness. Lord, you are a mighty and compassionate Father. I enter your presence with sincere gratitude for your providence over my life. I am thankful for you keeping me and my family together. I am thankful for your wonderful care and tender mercies that you unconditionally extend to my family and me. I bless your name because you are worthy to be praised. In you, I know there is protection. Only in you, Jesus, I know there is abundance and joy. And so, I invite you into my home. I welcome you in, dear God. Today, I come seeking your powerful protection over my life and my home. I know that spiritual warfare is raging around me because of the evil in this world. And your word reminds me that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against spiritual wickedness in high places. And Lord, this highlights the need I have for your heavenly protection. I cannot build and protect my home alone. I need you. I cannot be complacent and leave spiritual doors open so that the devil can creep in. So, I ask that you form a hedge of fire. Let nothing enter my house that is not from you. I refuse to let fear become my companion. Help me to trust in you and not to worry about my safety and the security of my household because I am under the care of Jehovah. Watch over me each and every day. Watch over my coming in and going out. The world is full of selfishness and cruelty. I look around and ask the question, Who can I turn to but you, mighty God? Where else shall I find protection from the devourer? Your word assures me in Psalms 34 verse 7, which says, The angel of the Lord encamps all around those who fear him and delivers them, Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who trusts in him. Thank you for your word that offers such blessed hope. 
Your words are sure and comfort my spirit. At this time, I need your angels to encamp around me and my home and to offer divine protection as I put my trust in you. Lord, please cover the doors and windows of my home and protect me from all the forces of darkness. Keep my home safe from negative influences, and may I only take into my home those things that are wholesome and of a good report. Extend your divine protection to all who will enter my home. Lord Jesus, I pray that you guard my steps each day, protect me in all my endeavors, and give me the strength to accomplish my daily goals. Lord, I am comforted by Proverbs 18 verse 10, which says, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run to it and are safe. And so, I call upon your name, Lord Jesus. I call on the name of Jesus Christ today. I ask you to be my strong tower. I know that you can keep me and my household safe, and that you wish above all things that I will prosper and be in good health. I pray that you will deliver me today as you surround me with your glorious presence. Your presence, which offers supernatural protection around my home and keeps evil far from me. Many times my steps falter and I unintentionally place myself in harm's way. But I pray that your presence will remain with me. Teach me your way so that I will walk in it and not stray, O oh God. Even as my enemies plot to bring me down, and even if those I trust seek to bring me harm, I commit myself to you. Into your hands, I take comfort in the promise you gave me in Isaiah 54 verse 17, which says, No weapon that is formed against me shall prosper, and every tongue that shall rise against me in judgment you shall condemn. Lord, I pray that my home may be a house that seeks to serve you wholeheartedly. When I am tempted to stray or when I lose my way, I pray that the Holy Ghost may convict me and return me to your presence, where safety abounds. Strengthen me so that I will be able to withstand the storms of life and the challenges that I face daily. Grant me overcoming power so that I will not allow fear and anxiety to hold me back. I put my trust in you as I seek your blessings of divine protection today. Holy Spirit, help me to find joy in your presence. Mighty God, as you also protect my peace of mind, teach me so that I will understand that you will never leave me nor forsake me. Help me to find peace that surpasses all understanding as I meditate on your word. I pray for this perfect peace that you have promised to dwell in my house and cast out all of my fears, and keep my mind stayed on you. Cover me, Lord, and fill my heart with hope. Help me to take comfort in your plans, plans to prosper me and not to harm me, to give me hope and a future. Your word in Jeremiah 17 verse 7 reminds me that blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord, and whose hope is in the Lord. For he shall be like a tree planted by the water, which spreads out its roots by the river and will not fear when heat comes. But its leaf will be green, and will not be anxious in the year of drought, nor will cease from yielding fruit. Today I claim this blessing over my life and my household. As you protect me, I stand on your promise, mighty God. You will keep me like a tree planted by the water. And so, I put my hope in you today. I declare that your presence will be with me, and your divine protection will keep me from all harm. I thank you for hearing this prayer. I thank you for watching over my home, for the many blessings you have given me. I pray this in your holy name. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.